Well, hello, hello fellow sim racers. Ian here. Welcome to all the new subscribers. We're only 10 away from getting to 500, which is pretty awesome. And I do appreciate and thank every single one of my new subscribers. And also my current ones as well, of course. You guys have really helped support me through the good and the bad, through my own demons, which I'm still dealing with. Those bloody demons won't go away, will they? Two things to talk about today, and this could be a long vlog, moto log, whatever you want to call it, you know, racing log, Aussie log, <laughs> OTR log. Um, and that's, um, of course, a new update came out last night. To sum it up, disappointing, but with some good parts. There's only one thing that really actually made me happy with it. And the other thing is, um, as you all know about my father and health update there and I'll start off with that because it's the more important thing um, just a quick summary just so you know my father has been diagnosed with prostate cancer actually I am thinking I was saying it was pancreas but it's actually prostate cancer and um yeah, so he's been going for a hard time because of that. And then he's pumped with his eyes and they found some skin cancer inside his left eyeball. Not eyeball, eye socket, should I say. Left over from the skin graft that he had there. So that's kind of a, a bit of a blow. So he's, he's kind of having a bad time. And it just got worse on Sunday last week. Oh, the Sunday just gone. I get a phone call from him about 5.30. I was at 6 o'clock probably, around that time, I was just about to set up a test server lobby and do a stream for um, the new dailies for this week, which I'm actually enjoying. And, um, but I got a phone call from my dad, I go, what's going on now, what's happened, maybe just want something, telling me that he's in the hospital. Uh, okay, well, what happened? Um, well, he, he was in the bathroom, toilet and he's had a fall and fell to the ground hurting his left hip really badly luckily they got a little alarm system on us so they did that and proceeded to order i mean to book to get the ambulance on the way it took two and a half hours for the ambulance to get there now no i had uh, no one contacted me that this was happening at the time mum was a Mum's got some own, her own issues, mainly mentally, like me. And um, as such, um, no one contacted me, so I couldn't be there to try and hurry up what's going on about the ambulance. And that is being investigated why it took so long. Two and a half hours, he was in a massive lot of pain on the bathroom floor. So they've taken him to the hospital, not near where we live though. It's almost like a 30 minute drive away from here. And, um, They confirmed that he's got a broken hip. His left hip he has broken. So that's not good. That is definitely not good. So he's got a broken left hip, the poor bugger. And um, luckily they don't need the operator apparently, which is a good thing uh, and a bad thing, but I suppose, but mainly good does mean it's going to be quite a long uh, recovery for him. He's been in there since Sunday and he's still in that hospital. Um, I'm having to keep an eye on my mother who's having psychological problems, plus she's got a bad right, really bad right hip which needs to be replaced. So she's in a lot of pain with that, so she can't really walk or get very far. And so there's a, a, there's a link with that, because the hospital that he start, my father's at is undergoing construction work which means they've got half the amount of parking there and it's already a place that's very well known for having really bad parking and it's even worse now. So we got there, we went there on the Tuesday and um, we were extremely lucky that we found one disabled park. I do have a disabled sticker for my mother because she is disabled but it was quite a bit of a walk to the, into the hospital and that mum struggled with that. 
we saw him, he's doing okay, he's got good, um, he's in good spirits. And, um, easy to pick her up because I got her the way out front and I drove around, but we haven't been back because mum doesn't want to do that walk anymore and it's, I can't exactly drop her off and then go and try and find a park because there's been people there known to take over an hour to find a park. So we're in the process of hopefully he's going to get transferred today or, t or Monday to the local private hospital. He's got private health, so he's, he might get transferred to that hospital. So, yeah. um, so I'm going, every day I'm having to go over and check my mum, at least one, twice or three times a day. And so I'm extremely exhausted. I'm having to do that, dealing with my own problems. And when you've got ADHD, it's hard to do stuff. So you have to really push yourself to get anything done. So I'm really having to push myself massively. So mentally, I am completely exhausted. And this all happened off the back of a very busy, long day on the Saturday when I did a wedding recording. So I need to try and get onto that video, but I, the guy knows, and I said, look, I'll probably start work mostly on it next week. So, a lot going on. And to tie up with that is I was going to be running on the 2nd of August my Race for Cancer event where I was going to be driving around the Nürburgring, the full Nürburgring, not the 24 hour version, just the normal Nürburgring, for as many laps as I could. I was going to start 6 pm on Friday, the 2nd of August, Australian time. But I've now now this is the second, I was going to run this a while ago, postponed, and now I'm going to have to uh, postpone it again another couple, I'm going to try and plan for the 16th of August, this is a Friday again, during the F1 summer break, so hopefully that won't interfere with any of that kind of stuff, because I love my F1. Go Piastri. So yeah, that event's being postponed, more details in my Discord, so uh, if I can remember, I'll put my disc uh, gourd details in the uh, link below. Otherwise, just look up Aussie Tech. Because my disc gourd's underneath Aussie Tech, but Aussie Tech Racing, Aussie Tech. Aussie Tech's actually my main YouTube channel, which is a tech channel. And that's why Aussie Tech Racing is kind of like a... I linked it with that, and Aussie Tech Gaming. Okay, that bit's done. Oh, God, that took a while already. Um, going for a longer drive now. Next bit is this new update. Okay, so let's start off with the first thing. New track. To me, quite disappointing. It's very, they only got the short version of it. The, the way the track is designed, there's no way to incorporate it into a bigger track, which I'm sure there's a bigger version of it as well. There's different configurations. You're also including some rally stages too, I believe, but there's also some bigger road part of it as well. And when you saw the pictures and re um, replay in the trailers and stuff about it, launch trailer, it was showing like this tunnel that you drive through, and oh, that's going to be cool. But there is no tunnel. The actual tunnel is only just the entrance into the pits is in the tunnel. And it's very small pits. So I don't know. How, it, it's a very small, tight um, track. I don't think any car faster than a GR4 car is going to suit this track. Even that's going to be a bit... It's more of a drifter's track. Um, maybe some fun TT stuff. I can't see it being good for any main online racing. And we waited basically over a year for a proper... Well, half proper race track. And to me, I'm disappointed with it. Looks good, but very short under one minute lap under one minute laps if you're in some of the faster cars and honestly just yeah nice to have something new but i uh, would like a proper racetrack i think everyone's calling for a proper race track. like the room in montreal or something like that we i'm sure we would like to see some more there cars well there's the new scuderia ferrari which is still the same uh, just a more high performance version of the normal 430. You've got the Gallardo, which a lot of people, I'm not a fan of the way it looks. 
That drives okay. Um, here's the, the Shibu Rally car and there's some other ones. You know, the new M3, not the new M3, the old M3, the second, I think, second gen M3, which was missing from the line. So the tyres have been changed too now. They're now Michelin tyres. A brand on all the tyres. You've got the Cup 2s for the sports tyres. which is, That's kind of cool. And, um, they do feel like different tyres to what they used to have on there. But talking about feeling, that comes to the main thing that I'm actually happy with with this update. The rest of that's all kind of okay. And when you select your tyres now, there's a new graphics and stuff like that with the tyres. So that's a bit different. Um, the main difference, which I actually I'm really liking, is the physics change. The cars feel so much more stable on the braking and accelerating out of corners. There seems to be better low-end grip, low-speed grips and tighter corners. And this overall control just feels better. So I actually think they've done a brilliant job of the new um, physics. It's taking a bit of getting used to it. Um, surprisingly, even though the physics feels very different, some of the cars you're finding that they actually are faster. I'm, I'm told that the Mercedes AMG 22 is a fast, it feels faster now, and actually the times are showing faster. Most aren't. Um, but it is interesting the difference in the way it feels and I'm liking it more there's been some changes to the force feedback and stuff though there are reports from Fanatec owners that they're having problems with the force feedback really kind of dropped off a bit there's some, something going on there um, but I think most of those hadn't updated their uh, wheels and that's kind of like a thing I don't like about that. If you haven't got a PC, you're basically a console-only racer and you're using, say, the DD Pro, you can't update that for your console, so you have to do that via your Mac or PC. I'm not, actually, I'm not sure if you can do it by Mac. Maybe, maybe it's only a PC for the updating that wheel. I don't know. Maybe just a PC. I don't have a Fanatec, so I don't know. But I am hearing that there are some issues with Fanatec owners Seem to be found to get affected. You know, us Thrustmaster guys, we don't seem to get affected when these updates come out. So, uh, it's the same. Fan Thrustmaster, do a bloody um, console version of the 808 DD wheel, or at least an adapter. Then I'll, I'll get, I'll get it. I'll get the, I'll get the Thrustmaster 808 straight away. As soon as you can use that on consoles, I'll, I'll get the the 808 DD wheel. But then I can keep my pedals and everything, so I don't have to get a whole new setup. Otherwise, I'm looking at getting the Fanatec DD Pro Extreme. Was it just DD Extreme? I don't know how they call it, but yeah. Anyway, um, so overall, the update is good to a point. Why we had to wait an extra month for it to come out, it kind of got my head scratching because there wasn't anything majorly different. I can only gather that they wanted to have the guys because I believe everyone that raced in the GT World Series races they had access to the new physics and they were already commenting on that saying that it is different most of them are actually favourable of it so they obviously wanted their feedback before they made it go live to a source so maybe the, they were kind of like the guinea pigs I guess something like that anyway I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this very extremely long Motorsport themed vlog, but with the update with my father, so I'm hoping he's feeling better. Hopefully, they're going to move him to the closer hospital so we can actually go visit him again. His mum doesn't want to go back to that hospital because it's just too hard. Got a lot going on. The event for next Friday, the 2nd of August, has been postponed not cancelled, just postponed, which is good, gives me more time to try and organise it and set up some stuff. Again, all the information is on Discord. Make sure you go and check out my Discord, join on there. And if you want to be part of that event, you can just drop in. That's the thing about that event. I'm also planning, this is a little bit more long term, is a um, race for cancer series where we will, I will run a series. Most likely on a Saturday evening Australian time. But I'll see. And see if we can get enough numbers interested in that. And there will actually be prizes. I've already teed that up. So there will actually be first, second and third prizes for that series. So that will be cool. 
and again yeah, if you've got any ideas what I can do to grow this channel because I do want to try and make this channel grow more it's been a bit stale it's great seeing some new subs and maybe that whole Desi Stig uh, <laughs> scenario that panned out in this last week or so has actually helped me me and Daisy have made our peace. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say we're 100% friends again, but we will, I'll still call into his, into his stream, say hi and have a little chat, stuff like that. But you know, it's just when more important things in life remind us that disagreements over a computer game, it's pity pity, isn't it? So, As I've got a new slogan now, I do put on my cars, is race, not war. We are here to race, if no, no, the, the other old saying, I make love, not war. Well, race, not war, you know, let's not get, try and get angry. I'm trying harder now not to get angry when streaming. You still, you still have those moments when you get those idiots that do the wrong thing. But overall, um, yeah. Interesting week. Update to me overall was a disappointment, though if thanks to the physics change I'm actually happy with. I'm happy with the physics change. The rest of it, yeah we've got a new trap but honestly I, I don't think much of it. It's fun to drive around, it's definitely better than the stupid snow thing, track we had. Last, we only got two new tracks last year, we've got one new track halfway through the year this year. Are we going to see a new track the rest of this year? I don't know. I probably don't think so, They're going by their track record. Was this track that was so hyped about worth it? To me, not really, not really. It's great to have an additional, additional track. But I think everyone is calling and wanting some new race tracks. And the problem with the modelling, with the way the dailies work and stuff like that, um, they can't exactly do a track DLC where we can buy a whole lot of new tracks or even buy a new, buy a new track for the game because it's very hard with the way the dailies go. So I don't know. Would you pay for track DLC as long as it wasn't too expensive? Would you pay for track DLCs, even car DLCs? Car DLCs would work still because not, it, there's still other options to race if you haven't got those certain cars that they sell as a track car DLC. But yeah, that's my question for this week. When I do these, I'll have a question on my, at the end of my videos. To test if you watch this far back. Would you pay for a track DLC? Maybe even a car DLC, but mainly the track DLCs, because if you want to do, say, Daily Way C and it's the track DLC, you can't do it unless you own that track. Uh, so would you pay for it and how much would you pay for a track? I'd pay up to about 10 bucks Australian for a new track. Anyway, comment below, let me know about that question, let me know how everything's going in your world. Any advice you can give me, like Ian, don't do bloody long vlogs like this again in the future, no, I was bored shitless. Oh well, shit happens. <laughs> okay guys, I'm Ian. This is Aussie Tech Racing and my Aussie Tech v Vlog. See you all in the next one. Thanks for watching this far in. Bye! And remember, race not war.